Hi and welcome to another video by Eggy Fits. In this video I'll be showing you how to mix latex. This latex is Stopgap 1200 Pro. It's a really good latex. We use it for most things. It's very good for going over adhesive residues. So leftover adhesive from floors that have been previously laid. So you rip up your old floor and there'd be old glue down and then you think how do I go over that well this latex will solve that problem so first of all you pour in the milk into a large bucket all of it now there's one container full of milk and one bag and you Make sure you get all the stuff out of the little lip here and pull it off. Now, you don't hold back any powder. It is one full bag, for one full bottle. You don't add any water, nothing. It's all measured out and worked out by the manufacturers. Now, you have to set your whisk to slow you don't want to spray it everywhere and you've got to have an electric whisk you can't really do this by hand or like a shovel in the middle of some ply or something like you would concrete this has got to be in a bucket and whisked so as you can see it's a full bag every drop of the bag and every drop of milk Okay, whisk it up. I just had to put the uh, whisk on high speed. And you go up and down around the edge, making sure that anything that clings on the side gets mixed up as well. It's nothing worse pulling out all your latex and then at the bottom a massive clump of dry powder. As you can see I'm hugging the side so any big lumps will get hit against the whisk and the side. Keep going up and down around the edge and in the middle just checking for any big clumps. As well as holding it on the side you're looking for any big lumps whisking around in the bottom. And you see there's some around but most of those are just air bubbles and you just look and see if it runs clear or bumps now with it mixed you go in and start spreading if you want to see a full video of me spreading latex, it'll be on screen now. This floor has already been primed, stop dark primer. Now you pull some out, you don't pull the whole bucket out, you pour a little section. And you slide it back and forth starting with the edges get it into the corners nicely you can mask and tape up the skirtings if you want to and then cut the mask and tape off when it's dry to save your skirtings but if you do this every day you don't really need to do that if you take your time and do it right, you don't splatter everywhere. Because it keeps
keep working it into the corners and working it up to the sides. Temperature does play a factor in drying times. This normally takes a couple of hours to go off. It can take longer. Obviously, if it's cold and wet, if it's wet and there's moisture in the air, it can take longer, even though this isn't a warm mix. So the idea of sweeping it back and forth is to get rid of the big lump that you've pulled out and to get it all as level as you can. This is a smoothing compound, not a leveling compound. It's a smoothing compound, just gets it ready for a nice floor to go over the top. It doesn't level, it smooths it out. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see any more please hit the egg on screen now